Welcome to our channel Agla Same Schools. Today we will be covering chapter 13 that is direct and inverse proportions. So starting with the first exercise that is 13.1 our first question says following are the car parking charges near the railway station that is 4 hours 60 rupees 8 hours 100 rupees 12 hours 140 rupees and 24 hours 180 rupees. We have to check if the parking charges are in the direct proportion to the parking time. So we have to solve first of all the charges per hour. That is C one charges is taken as C. So charge one that is sixty divided by four divided by R equals to fifteen rupees. Similarly, if we do of eight hours and hundred rupees, that is hundred divided by eight will give you twelve point five zero. Here it is given. Similarly. Charges three that is twelve hours one forty rupees again divided and we will get eleven point six seven rupees. Moving to further fourth part which says one eighty divided by twenty four will give you seven point five zero rupees. So therefore the parking charges are not in a proportionate. Moving to a second question which says the mixture of a paint is prepared by mixing one part of red pigments with eight part of base in the following table. This table is given. We have to find the parts of base that needed to be added. We have to find the parts of base. So first of all, we have to let the ratio of part of red pigment and part of base will be A by B. That is in the ratio. So by taking A by B, we will get one by eight. Suppose it is K. So A two equals to four and B two we have to find. So K is equal to A two upon B two. We will get B two as A two divided by K, and K is given as one by eight, and A two is given as four. So B two will be thirty two. When A three equals to seven, B three we have to find, and we know K is equal to A three upon B three. We will get B three as fifty six. And when A four equals to twelve, B four we have to find. We know K is equal to A four divided by four B four. We will get B four as ninety six. When a five is twenty and b five we have to find k we know that a five divided by b five we can find b five easily that is one sixty. So the red pigments one have base part base of eight. Red pigment four will have part of base as thirty two. Seven as a part of base fifty six. Red pigment twelve as a part of base ninety six and red pigment twenty as a part of base one sixty. Moving to our question number three, which says in question two, if first part of red pigment requires seventy five milliliter of base, how much red pigment should be mixed with eighteen hundred milliliter of base? So first of all, we have to let the part of red pigment mixed with eighteen thousand eighteen hundred milliliter base be x. So the part of red pigment one is seventy five of part of base, and x we have to let. So by solving it, we will get that th this is a direct proportionate. So one by seventy five equals to x by eighteen hundred. We will get x as twenty four parts. So with base eighteen hundred ml, twenty four parts red pigment should be mixed. Moving to our fourth question, which says a machine in the soft drink factory fills eight forty bottles in six hours. How many bottles will be filled in five hours? So we have to let the bottles filled in five hours be x. That is, our one hour bottle are filled seventy five. So we have to find the thousand bottles. That is, the ratio of R and the bottle are in a direct proportion. That is, six by eight forty equals to five by x. By finding the value of x, we will get seven hundred bottles. So machine can fill seven hundred bottles in five hours. Moving to our fifth question, which says a photographer of the bacteria enlarged fifty thousand times attains a length of five centimeter as shown in the diameter. What is the actual length of the bacteria? So we have to let the enlarged length of bacteria be x. So the actual length of bacteria is five divided by fifty thousand, which will give you ten power minus four centimeter. So again, the length of the enlarged bacteria are are in the direct proportionate. That is five divided by fifty thousand equals to x upon twenty thousand, which will give you two centimeter. So the enlarged length of bacteria is two centimeter. With the sixth question, which says, in a model of a ship, the most is six centimeter high, while the most of the actual ship is twelve meter high. If the length of the ship is twenty eight meter, 
how long the model of the ship is. So we have to let the length of the model ship be x. So the actual ship that is 12, the model ship will be 9. So the actual ship 28, we have to find the model ship of 28 actual ship. So here the length of most and the actual length of the ship are in direct proportion. Right? Again, making an equation, we will get x as a 21 centimeter. So the model ship is 21 centimeter. Moving to a seventh question which says, suppose 2 kg of sugar contains 9 into 10 power 6 crystals. How many sugar crystals are there in 5 kg sugar and 1.2 kg of sugar? So first of all, we can find 5 kg of sugar crystals. So let the sugar crystal be x and 5 kg. So again, sugar and the number of crystals are directly proportionate. So 2 by 9 into 10 power 6 equals to 5 upon 10 which will give you x as a 2.25 into 10 power 7. So hence the sugar crystal are 2.25 into 10 power 7. Next we have to find 1.2 kg of sugar. So let the crystal be x here and this equation will be 2 upon 9 into 10 power 6 equals to 1.2 divided by x which will get 5.4 into 10 power 6 crystals. Moving to our eighth question which says Rashmi has a road map with the scale of 1 cm representing 18 km. She drives on the road for 72 km. What would be her distance covered in the map? So we have to let the distance covered in the map be x. So by making an equation we will get 4 cm distance she covered in a map. Moving to a ninth question which says a 5 meter and 60 centimeter high level vertical pole caused a shadow 3 meter and 20 centimeter long. We have to find the same time. That is the length of the shadow cast by another pole 10 meter and 50 centimeter high. So answer is here the height of the pole and the length of the shadow are direct proportionate we know. So 1 meter equals to 100 centimeter. 5 meter 60 centimeter equals to 5 into 100 plus 60 that will give you 560 centimeter. 3 meter 20 centimeter that is 3 into 100 plus 20 equals to 320 centimeter. 10 meter 50 centimeter will give you 10 into 100 plus 50 which will give you 1050 centimeter. Similarly 5 meter equals to 5 into 100 which will give you 500 centimeter. Moving to a second part which says the height of the pole which cast shadow 5 meter long. So the length of the shadow again we will take it as x. Making an equation we will get 6 centimeter. So the length of the shadow of another pole is 6 centimeter. Moving to a 10th and the last question which says a loaded truck travels 14 kilometer in 25 minutes. If the ship remains the same how far it can be traveled in 5 hours. So again we have to let the distance 5 hour be x kilometer. So 1 hour is equal to 60 minute, 5 hour equals to 50 into 30 which will give you 300 minutes. So distance and time making an equation we will get x as a 168 kilometer. So the distance covered in 5 hours is 168 kilometers. This is all from this exercise guys. If you have any query or any doubt related to any of the question, please put your query in the comment section below. For regular updates and information, please subscribe to our channel Aglasim Schools. We wish you a safe life and do take care of yourself.